No, no, stop, stop, stop. Welcome back to the Peebs channel. If you've been following this channel for a while, you may have noticed that we've done some fast food toy videos. I've been getting almost all of those toys off of eBay, and so the other day while I was perusing my eBay uh, account, just going nuts, just buying everything I could see, I came across a set of fast food toys that I had absolutely never heard of before. Another set of SpongeBob toys. We did a SpongeBob toys video a little while ago, but these not only are new from last year. What, well, does that make them new? They're kind of new, they're new, they're new. If they're from 2020, they're new compared to our normal standards, I guess. But these were special and stood out to me a little bit for a different reason. These SpongeBob toys connect and create a Rube Goldberg machine. I've seen some other fast food toys that actually do connect. I didn't do a video on it, but I did a stream on my live stream on Twitch where I showed off these Lord of the Rings toys and they connect and it does like a little bit of something if you connect. I don't know, those are so old. Like half of them didn't work. But I've never seen fast food toys that uh, did something like that. I mean, if you're not familiar with the Rube Goldberg machine, think Mousetrap, that old board game, if you're a boomer like me. Well, like one of those machines that like all the pieces connect and the crazy things happen to like, and the ball rolls around and then it like smashes the button and it like makes a piece of toast or something. That's probably like a good enough uh, definition. So I'm excited. Let's check out these toys. I don't want to be too rough. I don't want to break the gold, the Goldberg. I assume these are separate individual toys also that do something question mark. And then they connect and then make the Rube Goldberg, Goldberg, Goldberg machine. I can, I can I can speak. And that machine will either work really well and will be all super impressed or it won't work at all and it'll be really funny. There's probably no in between, honestly. I love that since these are new, it seems like they're really going with SpongeBob meme faces for these toys. It's probably gonna make it pretty easy to make the thumbnail for this. So thank you. Uh, who made these again? Burger King. Probably should have mentioned that. It's in the title. You guys can read, probably most of you can anyway. All right, so we have uh, Patrick here, as you can see. I think he's gonna be like falling from these uh, little pegs. This is three plus, by the way. If you're uh, younger than three, you need to get the heck out of here. See what I mean with the freaking meme faces? <laughs> I like how they, you can see his little faint belly button. This side, uh, I have to say, doesn't look as good. Okay, so you put him on the top there, and then he sits there. When you Okay, so when you press that button, he falls. All right, so hold this little thing. He needs to hold that too, I assume. Yeah, okay. And then you press this, and he falls. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty simple, but I guess it makes sense since it's uh, gonna be part of the Rube Goldberg machine. You'd think he would fall and like land in that little space. Come on, Patrick, you can do it. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure. Is he? It, maybe he's supposed to fall and like hit something else there. I'm not sure. I'd say as a standalone toy, I'm uh, not very interesting. But th this is a series where you've got to collect them all, right? So I'm hoping the Rube Goldberg machine is gonna make up for this. Up next, we got um, what's his freaking name? Gary. That's his name. I should know. I named my freaking duck in Coin Game after Gary. So here's Gary. He's very cute. And unlike Patrick, he actually has a backside. He is branded by Burger King, though. He has a Burger King cattle prod on his. Well, I want to say his butt, but I guess that's his butt. Oh, God, Gary! And then here's his, uh, what is this? Is this where he lives, I guess? It's got plastic on it. I don't know about you guys, but I love plastic things like this. I can just sit here and do this for like an hour. My wife is a big fan. Oh, yes! It's like once I start doing it, I feel like I can't stop. I need to look at the instructions for this. So Gary is there like that. And you put, okay, so you put, oh yeah, because his his a butt had a hole in it, which I guess most butts do, you know. <laughs> so you shove that uh, hole that he got, uh, there's a thing and you sh shove it. <laughs> Shove it right into his bum. Then he's happy. Look, he's happy. <laughs> he's happy about it. That's step two. Step one, shove that thing up Gary's butt. Step two, he's happy. And step three, you launch him. And apparently he's uh, happy about that too. Okay, Gary, I'm gonna do it. Are you ready? Oh, he's ready. You can't see it super well, but he's got a smile on. Oh. Uh. Make sure it's nice in there snug. Uh, and then uh, he launches, presumably. Uh, okay, well that was not great. Okay, well that was a, a little bit better. I don't hear a click or anything. I'm not sure how to know when it's, when it's like actually in there. 
Okay, it works. Fairly unimpressive on its own. <laughs> Let's pray that the Rube Goldberg machine works. Oh, we got Squidward next. I'll free you, Squidward. Oh, he's stuck in plastic too. He's stuck. I'll help you, Squid. Wasn't that hard. You can see what I mean with the meme thing? This is uh, definitely a SpongeBob meme. I forget exactly where it's from. So we got these pieces. You use uh, this to uh, punish your YouTube audience. And then put a crack in your phone and then have to buy another one. Actually, what is this supposed to be? Is that like some kind of yellow seaweed or something? Uh, I don't know. And then there's, of course, there's this. Everybody, you gotta have one of these, you know? Or the whole thing just doesn't work! And then you got this. Something probably goes in that. <laughs> okay, this is gonna, I don't even need to look at the instructions. All right, I'm gonna look at the instructions. Okay, so this connects into there, and then you've got this thing, and then the tube from this, I guess, connects into that. Squidward's gonna slide down. He hangs on with his arm, okay? And then he slides down real fast, and unlike Gary, it doesn't really look like he's happy about it. I'm not exactly sure what this emotion is, but it doesn't seem like happiness. Okay, this needs to like disconnect from this, but preferably without breaking it. This will go here, there we go. It's got a little lever which doesn't seem to really do that much. All right, and then this goes into here. This, I think. Well, no. Well, that's not right. This needs to connect like this on, so that this is going down, which means this is in wrong also. It's feeling a little bit flimsy. Just a little bit flimsy. Oh, wait, okay. No, it goes in like this. How does this work? I can figure this out. I can do this. Oh wait, no, no, no. This, this is not what it goes into at all. This is what was holding it originally. Okay, that was what was confusing me. It goes into this hole here. Okay, all right. It goes in like that. Okay, I got it, I got it. And then that's gonna fall down. Or he's gonna fall down and hit that, I think. He's gonna hang from here like this. And then we press the lever here and he's gonna fall. It actually kind of worked. This one works the best so far. This lever in the back though, really doesn't feel like it does that much, but I guess it doesn't need to do too much. It just needs to activate him falling. And I guess it can't like be too much of a snap. Otherwise, whatever hits it, it's not gonna set it off. If that makes sense. Calm yourself, Squidward. Okay, so I think there's three more. Who the heck is this? Oh, this is, this is uh, Sandy. I didn't recognize it because it was like, this was all I could see. So I didn't realize that was Sandy on a seahorse. Okay, this one's only two pieces. Super easy for me. I appreciate it. Okay, this Sandy looks uh, by far the cheapest out of all of them, I think. Slightly less than impressive there. Um, okay. I like how her feet are, like, not actually really attached to her body. I mean, it's all one solid piece of plastic, but uh, her feet are, like, going through there. It seems like she's not really attached. And, I mean, technically she isn't. They are just one thing. But her, her backside isn't hollow, so that's that's a point. And then there's this, uh, like, slide here. Okay, step one, you take your grubby little hand and you, the uh, tail attaches to this red area there. Yeah, okay. And then Sandy goes, wee yee I'm a cowboy. I'm from Texas and I'm Sandy. That was close enough. I've seen the show. And then she keeps doing that. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty much this one. This one seems, uh, less than impressive. All right, Sandy Cheeks. Hang on. Ready, set, go! Again, it's 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 it's, it's the full picture. Where it is just a small piece of the part of the part picture puzzle. So the band put them the other. It'll just just wait. Okay, just wait. Stop unsubscribing. Stop. You have no power here. My window's open. I should really stop. I should probably stop screaming. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we got for the fifth second to last. Who else? Oh, Mr. Krabs, I think. He looks weird. He's T posing. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. It's Mr. Krabs. And, uh, you know, Mr. Krabs patented slide. Okay, you put on uh, Captain Sprinkle. <laughs> What's his name? Freaking. So you put on Captain Krabs and he goes down the latches. And uh, then you get to, he's still there. That's step two. Step three, he goes down the slide. It's not a Rube Goldberg machine. And you learn this kind of thing as you get older, you grow wiser, you get a little gray in your hair, you learn. It's really not a Rube Goldberg machine. 
if there's not something that goes down like a set of uh, slide stair things. It's just the way it is. Okay, so he's gonna go on, uh, he just kinda hangs on there, and then the switch. Oh, oh no, he rolls, okay. Uh, he hangs on there, and then something's gonna, something's gonna fall back and hit this button here, I guess, and then he's gonna go, like. Hopefully it looks a little better than that. Okay, that was that was fun. He rolled. I thought it was gonna go boop boop boop. Okay, officially not a Rube Goldberg machine. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Okay, and last we got our boy, SpongeBob SquarePants. Sponge me, Bob. Oh, dude, this kind of reminds me of that Luigi from the other Burger King toys where he slides up the thing. <laughs> but here he is. He looks pretty good. He's so funny. He looks he's so cute. And he's got his little net to catch uh jellyfish. It's the exact same kind of thing as the Squidward one. So a little bit less creativity there than, uh, than I'd like. But I think I can actually figure this one out at this point. That's gonna go in there. And uh, this goes at the top, I guess. SpongeBob and Friends there. Very cute. Like that. And uh, something's gonna hit this and he's gonna go down. Uh, and then, yeah, that needs to be up so he can hit it. Okay, we've got all of them. I'm excited. Let's put this together. It's gonna be good. I know it. Well, I don't... I don't know it, but it'd probably be all right. Okay, I have to actually figure out which order these go in, right? That could probably go there. Well, I'm gonna guess, and then I'll see if I'm right. That probably could go there. Figuring it out. Need something to launch him. Oh, and that's gonna launch into crabs, for sure. Or maybe it doesn't really matter which order they go in. They all connect. So I guess part of the fun is that you could do it in any, or any order you wanted, I guess. Stop it! I'm trying to, trying to fucking... God. Mess it up. Be careful. Oh, yes. Everything's set. Dang it! Like, they all fell at once somehow? I don't even know how that happened. It's not a Rube Goldberg machine if you don't mess it up at least once. Okay. The release on these is so, so slight. It's so finicky, which it, I guess it has to be for it to work. But uh, if you accidentally like drop something like that, then they literally just all go at once. Except for Gary, who's behaving quite well, I have to say. Got that thing shoved up nice in there. Oh, oh, oh. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, attempt number one. Here we go. Starting with Gary. He's gonna hit the back button here. Oh, Mr. Crab. He's gonna go down and hit the thing. Sandy's gonna go. Squidward's gonna go. SpongeBob then's gonna go. And then DePatrick's gonna go. In three, two, one, go! Okay, it kind of it kind of worked, but it's so finicky. It's so finicky. It, it, it too many things were were going at at once. It's supposed to go one in the other. That was wrong. Gary, you did your part right. It was everybody else that screwed up. Shove that thing back up your butt. Attempt number two. All right. <laughs> you know what we need though? We need a freehand action cam. I need to flip this around. We're like moving the whole town in spit spit that episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> it goes so fast. It goes so fast. I can't even get a good shot on it. It's the fastest Rube, Rube Goldberg machine of all time. This requires master cinematography to capture. Only the true experts can handle this speed. No, 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 no. The jump between these two and then Sandy just goes like instantly. And then I like, oh my God, I gotta jump up. And then it's just like, Aah! I will try it again. One more, we can do this. 
no, no, stop, stop, stop. Why am I doing them in backwards order? This is like the worst possible way to set this up. Set myself up for maximum failure every time. I gotta be ready. That jump with Sandy to Squidward is next level. 